friends. How you doing? Ah. I want to talk about this guitar. It's not a fancy guitar. It only cost me $100. It's a great playing guitar, though. It's a Fender Squire. So it's not a real, like, Fender Stratocaster, but it's basically like a Fender Stratocaster with less quality pickups and some construction. You can buy this guitar new for like $150 or $200. But this one... I bought on Craigslist for like a hundred bucks. Like in the spring I bought it. And I bought it to actually take the neck off and put it on another guitar. It's a project I have. The first guitar I ever had was sort of a Strat, a Stratocaster copy. It was a Strat, a Strat copy. It wasn't very good, but I learned how to play electric guitar on it. So the guy I bought this from, it was a Craigslist ad. And he wanted $120 for it. And I was more than willing to spend $120 on this, this guitar. He wanted the neck and he wanted the tremolo system. The rubato bar. The whammy bar. That. Um, and so I had this vision to build this guitar that would be fun to play. <clears throat> so when I went to this guy's house, he was about my age, but, um, he had bought it for his daughter who was learning how to play guitar and he was a bass player. So when I went there to the house to buy it, he, he told me on the email, he said, I'll take $100 for it. I'm like, I'm in. I, I've already bought it. And when I got there, I quickly realized he had this sort of attachment to this guitar because it was his daughter's guitar. And he was more than, he was so happy to show it to me. He was like, oh, and, and you know, the action's just been set up. And the action is actually really, really, really good. The, I don't even want to touch it because it's so good. Down here, like... The strings are just perfect. It's, if you want to learn how to play guitar on a guitar like this, it's the best guitar to learn on. All you have to update, update, upgrade, is the pickups. Anyway, this guy kind of had his attachment to the guitar. And I didn't have the heart to tell him I was going to rip it apart and beat it up. So I made up a little white lie. Which I thought was okay because it was a little white guitar. I said, um, I'm buying it for my kid. We don't have kids. <laughs> so, but I, that's what I told him. I said, my son, who is pick an age, I said 10 years old. I said, he's just picking up the guitar, really taking a shine to it. I'd like to get him an electric guitar. I can't afford a fancy guitar. So he showed me, and I, and I didn't tell him I played guitar. Because I don't really play guitar that well. I just play guitar. I'm not a guitar fancy guy. <laughs> and he'd go on. I'm like, wow, that sounds great. And actually, these are the original strings. These are the strings that I bought it with. But like I said, I told him I bought it for my son. And maybe it's because I made up that little white lie that I haven't been able to bring myself to taking the neck off and putting it on the guitar that I want to put it on. And using the vibrato bar on the guitar that I want to put it on. It is such a nice guitar. It's so nice, I actually bought some proper pickups for the guitar. So after I destroy this guitar, I'm going to put them all back together. And I'm going to put the proper pickups in there. And this is probably my favorite guitar ever. And 
I can't, I can't describe. See, here. when it comes to guitars, when it comes to music stuff, for me, it's all about a personal thing. If the guitar speaks to you, if it, uh, if it feels good, if there's a, if there's a, something personal with it, it, it makes it that much more fun to play. You, you kind of want to spend time with it. Right? It's, a, it's not just an instrument. It becomes a part of you. My acoustic guitars, both of them, <coughs> they're part of me. Just sitting here playing this tonight, it, it, it just feels good. It resonates. Acoustically, and it resonates personally. So, just a great guitar. So that's my story about the guitar.